guys, it's me Luis. Good morning. Today we have another new video. Today we have this one, it's the RLEEZ system. So we're gonna start making the can on this one. It's 2016 Highlander Toyota. My headliner is on my head, so it's gonna be harder to get my head low. So this system, as you see, the windshield is very short. So this system is very nice. It's not the fastest. Even in the, you know, when they send me the leather, they say, don't promise be the more faster, but it's powerful. Okay, so it's very nice. I already cut two windshields. Accord, uh, Chevy Suburban, the old one, the 1341, um, looks very really nice, it's a lot of power, even for that windshield I cut easy, but the problem is I try to follow the same on the video on YouTube for these guys, but the problem is in the Chevy truck, uh, when I set the corners, you know, start cutting on the top with the anchor, the anchor just starts sliding, I mean, the, the because it's, it's, it's too much, so I think for some windshield it's fine, but another ones like all windshields with the greasy and stuff on the windshield even when I clean my with my G800 uh, it's not good the, the, the cup starts sliding especially with the corners when you go side to side so I changed some cuts here I'm gonna work different today because I have better results when I cut in half parts the same like when I use my WRD is the only way to, to prevent my anchor sliding a little bit so I'm gonna start making the cut now careful with this system because the last time I did this one retracting the line and when I get here my finger was trapped here man that hurt very bad it has a lot of power just careful okay so let me start making the cut so I'm gonna start making the cut you know the bottom first I already put my hooks in the bottom because remember the highlighter there's nothing on the bottom in the firewall so you need that one so I'm gonna go maybe more close the headliner is on my head so it's hard so there you go make the cut let me protect this one a little bit more now working with another system when I use the drill I can feel the line this one I'm just following the noise okay nothing else so almost get no more angle just keep 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 going 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 I'm gonna cut when I don't have more angle I already passed the the model right there no more okay and that way I'm gonna use my system corner so in my head is that I'm gonna try to set here if I can get a better angle here I can go here or I can go here but the problem is here the angle will be more difficult and maybe this is going to be sliding that's the problem not all the time it's going to work like that so let me see if I can go on this way the deal is don't move the, the anchor too much so let me just retract in the line you see it's slow definitely but has a power now you have a time you don't have too much off maybe the system is fine all right now as you see my angle is not very really good so i'm gonna move this one over here right there probably maybe this position is better sorry about my head is pretty close to the headliner so i can move even my head too much all right let's see let me go low here there you go that's the best angle so i'm gonna move my protector over here uh, let's see what we can do here I don't have any pillars nothing so it's gonna be nice now the line is coming with the system is very strong okay I like it but the problem is it's not really friendly with the interior so just careful with that and you know the pole is really high so you go very close to the interior so that's why today I'm gonna use I'm using my uh, P8 you see in this way I don't have too much resistance and this one don't slide in too much because the last time I tried to go like the video it started working side to side and three times and this guy started moving sliding a lot so that's why I already passed that one maybe I catch my hook yeah see my hook is inside so that's why I get the noise okay sometimes this happens with these hooks when I stick too much but it's no big deal okay let's keep going Now, in this point, I have to change my cup to the top because I don't have more angle. But it's still, I can work. You see? Not gonna make any problem. It's good, 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 good. Good, good. I'm gonna get the corner. When I don't have more angle, right there, my glass, you see the glass, it starts pushing up. It's because I don't have any more angle. So, even when I stop here, I can just change my angle. That's what I found with the videos, okay? I'm not saying I'm, I know everything about the product, but I'm using these techniques because I already made a couple of, and the only best result is like this because when I go 
you know, using the uh, side to side, this guy move a lot. Especially for those kind of bended glass, you know, when they have too much curve. Uh, this one, I don't see anything. Let me see if I can go. But right here, I hate when these guys do this. Ah, let me see, guys. You don't have the sunlight in the front. Let me see. Ah, hold on. Today is hard. Okay, let me see. There you go. Okay, we're going to start cutting again. You see, with the angle, it's, the glass is not going to come up. It's just going to be easy. Now, I'm going to cut all over here. But I'm gonna move my cup, I don't want to damage. Careful with this one. Like that. That one, remember, those kind of um, metals right there, they're really easy to rip the line. So let me just. Uh, this one is hard today. If I go too low, the head line is gonna bend it. So I gotta let, let the seat stay in that way. Let me see if I can. I don't like when this happened. Okay, you see, that's what I'm talking about. You see how how high uh, how how far I'm from the glass, making the line go too close to the interior or the headliner. So that's why it's the only I don't like with the system because I need something maybe something more low will be better. But you know the cup, you see uh, the base here is high, so it's no way they can just make something more lower. But you know it's not a big deal. I gotta just avoid that part so the system is nice this is low definitely but 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 i don't think it's a big deal let me see if i can just guide my, my, my finger there you go but just th think about it if you have the headline on here it's gonna be very hard get in there to protect the line so right there i'm not gonna go more far now i'm gonna go all the way to the other side because it's an air and I so I almost forget <laughs> so I don't want to break it <sighs> so and this is slow system I have is powerful but it's slow what I have found is go to the bottom all the way without use the assistant corner and after that I just use my assistant corners in the low and the, the easy parts but the bottom I have to go this way the video shows the system is stay in the middle you put one cup here one over there one on the bottom and you finish over here but i tried that one in the chevy truck the old one and this guy started sliding a lot so that's why i don't think it's good for that but you know it's not a big deal today i'm just testing the tool remember i always looking for the best tools on the market and after that i mean i'm just fanatic i like tools all the time so no matter which one is always I try to own because I'm I'm a little addict to the tools all the time. All I have to do now is all the way here. Okay. There you go. This is what I'm talking about. You see, you left your finger here, that gonna trap your finger and you know. It's, uh, you're gonna forget and you're gonna hurt very bad. But I'm changing techniques, okay? I'm not following the same instructions, but I try to find the best way to me to make my cut. So I'm gonna take a look from here so you guys can see. You see the system is making the cut. All right. Now the top is really close to the body. I will show you. I don't know why this part you have a lot of room and the other side is completely touching the roof. It looks like it has been replaced before. I'm gonna pass here all the way to the corner. We're gonna pass that corner. You see, it's powerful, so it's it's not a stop for anything. I mean, the line is gonna break. Okay, right there, I'm gonna stop because I don't have any angle, so that's gonna make my glass break or start sliding the cup. So what I'm doing now, you're losing a little bit. And we're gonna finish the cut now. My anchor is over here. So this one I'm gonna change for something more smaller. It's more easy to just roll and tight than just make a loop over here, especially with these kind of lines, you know. So now here the best way is I'm gonna just try to just go probably let me see if I can get it. That's the problem. You see how big is this thing? 
me go all the way here. Can you go more low? I can go more lower. Now this one, we only have to do is go all the way here, right here, because I only have to finish as the cut. So it's a nice system, but definitely, you know, if I'm comparing with the mongoose or with the spider, of course it's more slow, but it has a power. Now here is when you have to get careful with this one. When you left this one, right there, because they trapped your fingers hard. But that's your fault, not the system. Remember, every problem we do is about us, not the systems. Now I'm going to finish the cut. I already tried these ones and it's the best technique I've found. Just moving on this way. Cutting the bottom first. In some cars like the Accord, I did the same like the video in the, in the YouTube and cut really nice. But another ones like this one, they're really bended. This technique works better, okay? <coughs> That's all. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm sick today. Okay, I'm retracting my line because I'm gonna keep it in my cage. And you see, this is slow, but don't worry about that. There you go. Now, this one out. And it's doing. Didn't, I didn't cover my seat, sorry about that. You see, the system is nice, but definitely have a couple of things to, I think they have to modify. I'm not saying no, I'm not nobody to say that, but to me, what I change I did, I would like to do is, I'm gonna change this one. Uh, the technique in some cars like the Honda Accord, the same in the video on YouTube, works really nice, starting here in the corners, but this kind of windshield, the short ones and the bended, this technique cutting to the bottom all the way that, here and here, to me works better. I've already tested a couple of times, so to me it's much, much better. So, I'm just gonna take this one off and the windshield and we finish guys so I have to come back later because they're gonna paint the roof <sighs> okay finish the call okay guys so it's me Luis today we back on business now today we have this one as a, as a charger so we're gonna replace the glass because it's broken it's hit on the bottom now they're replacing the dashboard because it's the oil bags open it so we're gonna be placing I'm gonna use my RL RL EEZ for the bomb so we're gonna be placing the glass take him out from this one so I've been playing the last month with this guy I didn't put in a video because I'm trying to adjust myself to this system now so I found the only technique works much for, better for me in all brands especially with those kind of bending glasses because some is flat you can make the same technique like the video on YouTube but in other ones you have to go different way so I'm gonna make the cut in this direction because you see the bended is really really close to the to the area on the dashboard and after that I'm gonna use my anchor to reach the corner and move the system over here anchor and we're gonna finish on the bottom so let me just uh, go more close to here I got the power and everything let me get over here I'm gonna go close here now remember this system you have those kind of jump uh, jumper boxes, the little ones. Uh, 12 volts is nice, but sometimes it's going to lose the power really quickly because you're using all the time the 12 volts. So the best source of power is straight to the to the plug, and you're going to have it, uh, the, the, the the power all the time. That's what I find with this system. I need power 12 12 volts running all the time. So let me protect this area because now I have the dashboard and clips. Right there, you see this one here. Let me just get it. So I'm gonna start making the cut. Remember, this one is very close. I'm gonna try to just don't go close to the dashboard. It's nothing. It's clean bed. The system is, is very nice. So, just over there, we almost get the corner. Let me just protect this area here. 
soon I get the corner over here, I'm gonna just move the system. So let me make just a cat over here. There you go. I'm cutting nice. Soon I get that corner, I don't have more angle. Right there. Okay, now on this way, I'm gonna change ah, the system. Remember, you have to clean the glass really nice because you don't clean the glass, the cup is gonna slide in, especially the assistant corners. So now I'm gonna go over here, make it a little more. There you go. Now, let me move my assistant corner, let me go the other side. Is this cord <clears throat> so now what I'm doing let me move my anchor a little bit this way I got a crack right here so and I'm gonna lock to go over here okay I just put it in a low because I don't have anything here so okay and now to get that one, you can just pull straight or you're gonna continue cutting, making the cut, you see, you got an angle. As soon as you get that one, I'm gonna use my dust protector. Just to protect this area. Use my control. a little bit here I broke the gravity scope there you go It's cold today, so it's really tight. Usually, I warm the car a little bit just to help me with the cat, but today I'm working with the cold weather, so it's different. The resistance for the glue. There we go. Okay, now here my angle is nice, but I have my gravity stop on the way, so that's why I have to go down a little bit. Okay. This way you have to do is only set the piston here. So you got the steering wheel on this way. And my assistant corner. the gravity stop a little tight today okay now I'm gonna play with the angle It's a little different play with this guy because when I use my my uh, drill, I got all the power I need. I'm gonna go to the last cut. Where is my trash protector? Over oh, here. All right, and we finish the cut. Hey guys, good morning. It's me, Luis. It's a nice, nice day. Finally, yesterday stopped to rain. 
Today is Monday, it's a little cold, but it's not very bad, so it's sunny, so that's very, very nice. Today we have this one, it's a 2009 CRB Honda. So we're using, I'm gonna use the quick set, and I'm gonna use the this uh, new system, RLEEC. This is very nice, it's the power. Remember, on this one you have to have uh, uh, your own power, because you can get the power from the car, but it's gonna be more slow than the system, or, you know, or, you know, the customers don't like get the car running all the time so or maybe you cannot uh, start the car because the battery is dead you know something can happen affecting the power for this guy so get your own power it's gonna jump to bolts it's very nice so I'm gonna start working here let me go on I'm just gonna power I got 12 volts already we're using the switch I already played with this guy a couple of times to understand how the system works because it's different when you're pushing just a switch now remember in the videos they show us has to work but you gotta work in another ways because sometimes the, the curve the class is gonna be different so let me get this guy start pulling the rope I already make a little cut just to make sure I already void the bin number because remember the bin numbers is difficult to avoid sometimes there you go so let me go here There you go. So what I'm doing here, I'm gonna make the cut on the half of the windshield, the corner to here, and after that, I'm gonna use my assistant corners. I got another one, the small one. This is for the big trucks or buses, but I got, I wanna use this one because I can use, you know, two cups and one, but it's the same way, about the size. So I'm gonna start cutting. I'm gonna stop when I don't have more angle. As you see, my angle is gonna stop anytime. There's a lot of glue, this windshield has been replaced before, but I still have my angle. So I'm gonna stop soon I get no more angle, okay? Remember, just soon you don't have more angle, I'm gonna switch to the anchor. A little more, 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 more. I'm just following the noise on the core, okay? There you go, right there. Because when I'm using my drill, I can feel it, but now I don't feel anything, it's just, you know, just about the noise. Ninety-six power. It's gonna jump sometimes. Die faster. So okay. Got my core right here. When you're using the other anchor, is more smaller. So this one is a little more longer. There you go. Now I've already cleaned the glass many times with my G high hundred, but ah, still is like a greasy. Hope it's not gonna slide in the system. I mean the anchor. If not, I'm gonna use the small one. Okay. So I'm gonna go pulling. That's gonna make the angle. Okay, let me go here. Making the cut. What I like with this system is it's got a power, a lot of power. It's not gonna stop. Alright, I'm gonna get the corner almost there. There you go. This is gonna be more easy now. There you go, almost the corner, right there. Now, remember here, I'm gonna cut probably over here here, no more, I don't have more angle, and after that I'm gonna switch the anchor, or I'm gonna use the other assistant anchor in the other corner, and the bottom, and we finish. Remember, the way in the, sh in the video show is it's more easy because it's only three moves, and this one can change different because the bend of the glass is different, okay? So some cars, um, right now I'm trying to understand all the cars, but it's really, really different working with this kind of power, okay? So I'm gonna loosen, right there, just to avoid corners. I'm gonna set my protector right here, and after that, just pull in the line. There's my oh, right here. I got my gravity stuff in this remember over here, so I'm gonna get careful here. I'm gonna stop probably right here, almost there.
right there. I don't have more angle. So I'm gonna go now to the other side. Okay, and remember, you have to clean. I've already cleaned a couple of times, but still I have some greasy in this windshield. I don't know what it is, but today is really hard. I already cleaned a couple of times, but in the new cars, I don't have any problem, but this one is bad. It's like a greasy or something. So now I'm here, remember, I'm gonna play with my assistant. I wanna see if I have this, the, 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 uh, the right angle to avoid attachment so let me loosen here oh sorry is this guy has to start it never get your fingers close to the pulley when you're retracting or you're gonna stuck your finger you're gonna catch your finger hard it happened to me one time all right there you go special on these areas careful because when you catch your finger that one feels really, really bad. Okay, and let's continue. All right, gotta grab it to stop over here, so I'm just careful with that. corner all we have to do is protect our area here okay now the angle is almost done so what I'm doing here I'm gonna pass the system to the bottom because I'm gonna have more angle And now what I'm doing, let me move my anchor a little bit more to the right. Just to clear the area over here, okay? Um, I got a crack here, so I'm going to throw a sit. Let me see if I can go over here, because I got a crack exactly on the corner. I'm using the same pulley. You know, it's gonna be not much. Let me get this one. It's gonna be more easy. Get it. Now, I know it's, it's slow, it's not really, really fast, not like the other system we have with the drills, but it's not bad, I mean, do you have a time? Not a big deal. So let me take this one out, this guy out, and the big guy out. This is the big one, it's right there, and this one's right here. Okay, so let's go out and find out what the job looks. Okay, probably I spend a little more than six minutes, almost eight minutes, but it's not bad. So let me get my quick set. So remember, on this this day, I'm gonna use the driver's side because that one will have a little curb. So I'm gonna use my driver's side. Remember, so one, two, over here. Just get going up. I'm gonna go to the second wheel because the first one will be touch the urethane, as you see, right there. So I'm gonna go in the second one or the third one. Okay, for now I'm just gonna pull out. Just to know where it's gonna be. 
the sax the, the quick set right there. There you go. So it's gonna be in the third one because that one is too close. Right there. And let's go. Okay, so I'm just waiting. I'm gonna give it one hour. Just waiting. I remember this time I'm gonna go on the driver's side. Let me sit right there. A little windy today. And set the corner and there you go. Only just I, I didn't use the assistant corners today. Guys, good morning and happy new 2019 today we have this one is the 2007 a150 over the cut up i got the uh, quick set already set so we're gonna finish the job and let's go i'm in a second hole on the wheel because remember this one they are a little higher so let's just gonna anchor and everything is ready so let me go over here a little windy not very really much Remember on this one, the only you have to do is reach that part right there, slide in, find the bin number, and set. Now set my corner. We have a stops over here, so no big deal. Remember a little quarter beside the molding. And now, okay, let me get my anchor out. Remember, it's gonna be a little higher. Don't push it down. Just hold a little bit because remember, it's gonna be up because the angle is higher. So just hold the corner and let it go. Remember my corner. Push in and we finish. I gotta push in a little bit this way, just to close the gap. Just a little bit. There you go. Now we have the quarter here. I'm pushing down. You close the gap okay guys so easy on this one we have a gravity stop so no big deal okay guys so and let's watch inside as you see nothing even pushing nothing is exposed because many times the windshields i mean the glass guys do these ones you can see the beast out probably more than a quarter from out so both sides they are clean okay guys so we finish i'll see you next shot Okay guys, we almost finished the day with this one, it's 2016 Highlander Toyota. So we put the quarter glasses and now the windshield using the quick set. Let's finish the day because it's starting to be cold now. Oh, so let's do it. And they hold it from the bottom, the more close part to the Helder Saxon car because I'm going to reach a little more far away. Remember, support your arm, set on the wheel. At that point, you lost the weight. Now find the bin number, it's right here, and let it down. Get the top, and you see, you got alignment perfectly. All right, pushing down a little bit. Too close. Now remember, it's still gonna be in the air because remember we're in a little higher because you see the design for the hood. So don't worry, don't push him from the top. Just hold the bottom, move him from here and let it go. All right. And we finished. Now remember, when you set the, the quick set, don't let it on the hood because it's gonna just turn because it has the wheel. Just leave it right here. And that's a safe place to live this one when you take the wheel out okay guys so we finish see you next shot because the day is almost gone see you next shot <laughs> 